The Life and Sad Ending of Richard Deacon Richard Deacon was born on May 14, 1921, in Philadelphia. He and his family later moved to Binghamton, New York, living on the west side of the city. He attended West Junior High and Binghamton Central High School, where he met fellow Binghamton resident Rod Sterling. During World War II, Deacon served in the United States Army Medical Corps. In 1946, upon completion of his service, he returned to Binghamton, where he resumed living with his parents. He worked in occupations such as a laboratory technician, an intern at Binghamton General Hospital. He later attended Ithaca College, first as a medical student, but later developing an interest in acting, engaging in some nighttime radio announcing. Because of his looks and authoritative voice, Deacon usually was typecast as a humorless or foul-tempered authority figure. He became a highly regarded supporting player in films, complemented by many of the leading actors he played opposite, including Jack Benny, Lou Costello, and Cary Grant. However, it was on television that Deacon really thrived. It was his five-year gig on The Dick Van Dyke Show, where he earned television immortality, playing the long-suffering brother-in-law of Alan Brady, the faux TV star for whom Dick Van Dyke and his companion writers Maury Amsterdam and Rosemarie wrote. Deacon was the bald, glasses-wearing character actor known for playing milksop Mel Cooley on The Dick Van Dyke Show, 1961, from 1961 to 1966. In the first season of that show, he also continued to appear on the series he was already appearing on, Leave it to Beaver, 1957 playing Lumpy Rutherford's father, Fred. Deacon's character was constantly harassed by Amsterdam's diminutive, wisecracking character, Buddy Sorrell. After the show ceased production, still at the top of its ratings, Carl Reiner had terminated the series in order to go out while the show was on top. Deacon co-starred on the TV sitcom The Mothers-in-Law, 1967, with Kay Ballard and Eve Arden. Deacon replaced original series co-star Roger C. Carmel as Ballard's husband in the second season after Carmel was fired from the series by producer Desi Armez for refusing to accept a pay cut. After the show was canceled, Deacon returned to work as a freelance actor. Back on the boards, he appeared in the long-running Broadway production of Hello Dolly as Horace Vandergetter, opposite Phyllis Diller as the epiphanous heroine in the 1969-1970 season. Deacon continued appearing on television and the movies until his death. In his real life, Deacon was a gourmet chef. In the 1980s, he hosted a Canadian TV program on microwave cookery and even wrote a companion book on the subject. In his personal life, Deacon never married. Deacon was gay and was among a number of actors and actresses who were closeted homosexuals working in Hollywood and often employed in Disney films. Sadly, on the night of August 8, 1984, he was stricken by a heart attack in his Beverly Hills home. He was rushed to Cedar sinai Hospital, where he died later in the night. He was 63 years old. His remains were cremated and the ashes scattered at sea.